right, so Pisces, we're going to have a look at what's going to come up for you. And now keep in mind, this will not resonate for every single Pisces. If you like a personal reading, there's multiple ways to go about that. In the description down below, you'll see reading through call, reading through text. You can click on one of those links. Another thing, if you continue scrolling down, you'll see reading through Zoom with a set amount there next to it. And recorded reading. You can click on the links next to that. Donate the amount that you want for whatever reading you want. And... Then I'll email you after that, because I'm not putting my email up on there anymore. You guys send me too much spam and negativity. Okay, so, another thing you do is we also have a website where currently there's 50% off most store items, and that sale's about to end. You should definitely check it out while it's there. And if you like donating to the channel, feel free to do so. Okay, Pisces. You're working a lot of different things out here, Pisces, okay? Also feels like there, there's something here that you need to express here creatively, whether it be through art, music, whatever it is. What is this? Well, we have the Ten of Swords, Pisces. Ten of Swords wanting to come out here. Alright, so it feels like you're leaving things behind here, Pisces. Look at this. Okay, you may be leaving a home behind, but it feels like you're off onto the new. You're like ending a lot of things in your life. Pisces releasing here. Okay. It may be due to a love situation, Pisces, but I see you planning up ahead for it. Pisces, what I say for you, I see like a, a love situation not really working out for you. I see that unfortunately kind of ending for you here. And maybe you even like leaving, I see you kind of leaving your city or leaving your home. Alright, going somewhere newer. And I see you planning up ahead for your future, alright? You got all these ideas, all these creative projects, all these business ideas, right? And then you, you have, like, you're going to be meeting someone else. I don't see you being connectionless for that long, to be honest. Depending on the deck, we have the Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Alright, falling in love, or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on people you love, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going, uh, pay attention to the details, wait for the perfect timing, a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. Hold on, Pisces. Okay, so, let's shuffle your cards. She's in my hair. <laughs> we have the Nine of Wands. Protect what you have created, be prepared, never give up, ask your angels for help, environmental activism, and animal rights. The Wheel of Fortune. A fresh new start or the end of delay, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or new vehicle. You have Transformation, which is a tower, which is Scorpio. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, re eh, releasing old belief systems. We have the Three of Wands. Planning for the long term, abundance from past choices, pride and success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. You have the Ten of Wands. Working too hard or too many hours, a need for balance in your life. Let others help you. Health problems do distress. We have the Ace of Cups. A beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home. 
We have the Seven of Pentacles. Seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future, the need for patience, a time for resting, and planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. We have the Five of Swords. An unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or have questionable motives. Now the Six of Pentacles. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance. Borrowing wisely or paying off a debt. Share your wealth with others less fortunate. We have the Three of Cups. News worth celebrating. Joyful announcements like engagements, weddings, pregnancy, or graduation. A time for gratitude. Close communities or chosen families. We have the Five of Cups. Focusing on the negative. Things not turning out the way you anticipated. Forgiveness of self or others. Everything happens for a reason. Look for the hidden blessings. We have the Two of Wands. Taking the next steps. Bold and ambitious choices. Partnering with others who share your dreams. Expanding your plans. Continue to move forward. Of the Ten of Pentacles, financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. Of the Ace of Wands, an amazing opportunity, be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Now's the time to take action, do what you're passionate about. Of the Star, which is Aquarius. Have faith, the future is bright. Dreams come true, positive changes that bring an end to challenging times, light at the end of the tunnel with ego, which is the devil in this deck, which is Capricorn. The illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation, and make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions, or unhealthy habits. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. So Pisces, feels like you were dealing with someone who's kind of like narcissistic here played a lot of games, they did a lot of things that weren't right, alright, they did these things intentionally, alright, maybe they even, you know, sort of bragged about it to their friends or whatever the situation is, right, Pisces, I do see that person trying to reunite with you, but I also feel like you're going to have the choice of a newer person coming up into your future, alright, we have Scorpio, Aquarius, and Capricorn being presented here, maybe one of those signs but i honestly see you purchasing like a new home traveling somewhere a new vehicle you know just like ending everything and going on to a totally new way of life right and that's honestly what i see for you i see you getting tired of these people around you i see you breaking free from that going off in the new and i feel like that's when you're gonna have like a brand new love interest in your life okay I also see you investing into things here, Pisces. I see, you know, the things that you're investing into. I see that you could be partnering with people. I see you working a lot on that, but it's going to be paying off for you here. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, Pisces. So, let's see some messages and advice for you. Yeah, we have creative expression. Dot, yeah. God's divine creativity is expressed through your actions. Okay, that Ace of Wands. Remember when I was talking about creative projects? You need to like express yourself creatively here, Pisces. You need to practice on it daily. We have daily practice. The more you practice your new skills, the more comfortable and confident you become. Have confidence in your creations. You see. Trust in the power of God's creativity, which is being manifested through you. You need to have confidence in what you're creating here, Pisces. Okay? Even practice daily if you need to. You have dreams. This is a wondrous time of healing and positive transformation. Embrace life. Life each moment and keep focus on your dreams. Retain the purity of your vision and you will draw success to you. All you ever wished for, even that which seemed a distant dream, is about to manifest. Pisces, look at this. Everything you've been wishing for, that's going to be manifesting for you. All right, everything that you've been desiring is coming into your life here. Get more information. Get more information on the situation here, Pisces, okay? Listen to your intuition, okay? 
perfect timing. So everything's going to happen perfectly at the right time, Pisces. All right. <laughs> with, with romance. Okay, we're talking about love now. Okay. Number 31 with transformation. So we had this card come out earlier, but it was in tarot. Light and dark. Look at this. You're transforming here, Pisces. As we're going into Scorpio season, actually, that makes sense why you're having this transformation. You understand that sign? You understand the season? And then you understand why this is all happening. Okay? Number 23 with duality. Balance needed. Okay, maybe you have dual sides of yourself. Maybe you have like light and dark here, Pisces. We have number 26 with pink, self-love and nurture. Okay, nurturing yourself, loving yourself, Pisces, that's what's required. Number 52, priorities, building blocks for life. Settling out your priorities, like what is your priority here, Pisces. Number 37, detach from drama, look up, you need to detach from drama, people that cause drama in your life. Okay, you know. Number 42, go with the flow, paddle on, and just go with the flow here, Pisces. Okay. Now let's see angels that are currently with you. Number one with Serial. This is the angel of the dark night of the soul, which we did have light and dark. We did have balance. Number 11 with Ricky Beal. Supposed to be the angel of like compassion and stuff. Although you may feel like you have abandoned hope, abandoned yourself not. You are being cracked open to reveal your depths. Treasure awaits you on the other side of this deep initiation, Pisces. No matter how badly others behave, try to see through the eyes of compassion. Treat yourself as you wish to be treated and promote harmonious relationships, okay? So, Pisces, that is all I have for you. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.